Are you ready to thrash like a maniac? Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Belgian Jasper. If this is your first time on the channel, hit subscribe right now. We are doing an Albums of the Year countdown and we're doing Advent calendar style. So one subgenre every day and we are at one of the OG genres of metal. It's time for thrash metal. You know what? It was... Um, an unbalanced year for thrash metal. Um, you know, we've been having fantastic years for black metal. Um, we've had an exceptional year for death metal. Thrash metal this year, I, I don't think it's gonna be remembered as one of the great years, you know? Um, but uh, that's okay. You know, we still had some really, really good albums, even if, you know, I don't think there were that many amazing albums this year. Uh, there were some cool stuff going on. I mean, I'm looping together thrash and, you know, thrashy speed metal. Uh, some good releases that we saw, you know, bands like Knife and Hyperia definitely excited me this year. Uh, but if I think of my two runners up, um, yeah, there is one that is more that, you know, traditional legendary thrash band and an up and coming, you know, blackened occult speed metal band let's start there released on the 17th of february through peace fill records we have hell ripper with warlocks grim and withered hags i've seen that album already on many end of the year lists and rightfully so and another album that made quite a few lists as well and in full transparency, I had to go back to this album uh, because initially I was like, yeah, I think it's good, but not fantastic. And it's only, and I, I can't believe I'm saying this, it's only because of Pedro motherfucking Almeida of AMP Reacts, who recently convinced me to go back to that album and uh, give it another spin. And yeah, it is a really good album. So um, um, another runner up for me is Scorched by Overkill. That album came out mid-April on Nuclear Blast, but my favorite thrash metal album of the year is a bit of a different one. First of all, it was released independently, and second, um, okay, I said thrash, not the greatest year, but what is really cool is that we're in this middle of this new wave of up-and-coming death thrash bands. This album was also released in April, April 7th, if I remember correctly. Um, and it is the album Trial by Chaos by Raider. To your skies, Independent albums don't always get uh, the attention they deserve. And this album probably is uh, new to a lot of you, uh, but you should totally check it out. Uh, if you're into some modern takes on thrash and like those death thrash influences, you're going to love this one. Um, it's an album that I really enjoy. Uh, and when I push play, it's hard to, uh, to stop listening until the whole thing is done. So uh, good job, Raider. And I'm excited to see what's going to come next for this young upcoming band from Canada. No force All right, for tomorrow's category, there's definitely going to be some thrash influences, um, but we're going to take it into a bit of a different turn. We're going to go to the swampiness of Sludge and Stoner. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.